Beautiful morning up here in northern Minnesota. Scott Walsh and I are just running down a shoreline. We haven't even finished our coffee yet. Just ran up the lake and we're throwing little cranks along shorelines here. See if we can catch some smallmouth. This is a good one to start us out. Oh, he's got a big gash from a pike. A pike just opened him up. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought in the water I saw something on his side. I couldn't tell what it was. Ooh. A little DT6. There's another one. Ooh, we got a double to start us out, I guess. This one's not as not as big as yours, but he's a nice little ring like smallmouth. I just boat flip him. That's a nice double to start us out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think we might catch a few today. Cool. I think so. Let's go. Next cast. Another one about the same, I think. Another chunker. Not a giant, but let's see if I can flip him in. Whoa, bigger than I thought. <laughs> nice one. Beautiful bronze color, not a lot of tiger stripes in them. There, another one, another double. They're not, uh, like you said, it's not by any means rainy lake giants, but when you're catching them on every cast, you really can't complain about <laughs> no. that, right? No. It's kind of how you want to start. Solid. Little guy on that little crankbait. Back. Popped over to a windy shoreline instead of a calm one, and they got a big one. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice speckled belly. I like when they get all that brown or that black freckling on their on their white bellies. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Wow, look at that, 19? Yep, beautiful. These fish, let them go. This is a selection of crankbaits that's been working for Roger and I today. We have the tried and proven DT series, DT6, DT8, and a DT10, and as well as the newer OG series in the Tiny 4 and the new Deep Tiny 7. The reason you have that variety of depths is that shallow cranking pattern, you do want the bait on the bottom in the rocks, but still running shallow enough where it's not hanging the rocks. So that's why you have the selection of different depths. And you'll notice that it's mostly crawfish patterns. That's what you're imitating when you're shallow cranking in these boulders. These are smallmouth that are looking and feeding on crayfish. So this selection of colors and baits and depths will get you handled in the North Country. Wow, oh, it was right. He went rocketing out of the water. You know, we're fishing a mix of calm and windy shorelines, and we're really not seeing, like, this is a preference one way or the other. These fish are kind of all over, and they're definitely eating crankbaits up shallow. Scott and I are both fishing our crankbaits on seven foot and seven foot two medium power, moderate action crankbait rods. We've got 12 pound suffix, advanced fluorocarbon spooled on our reels. Takes care of some of the abrasion resistance. This is a decent one. Yeah, that's a nice fish there. Another one on the DT6. Maybe one of our better ones of the morning. He's a, he's a chunky one. That little guy go. Oh boy. It's a Rainy Lake special. Oh, beauty. Wow, wow. Oh. Nice stick one. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> why you come here, huh? Yeah, that's that's more like it. That's that's kind of what Rainey's known for right there. Beautiful. Yeah, what a fish. Awesome fish. All right, thanks for the net job, bud. Yeah, you bet. Man, this last spot we've been seeing a lot of fish on the electronics, especially the Mega Live, and it's, it's been a mix, about 50-50 mix of smallmouth and walleyes, and it looks like we might even be able to get a few smaller ones for dinner. There's been some small ones mixed in, so. Nothing wrong with catching nice walleyes on a crankbait. No, no. We've caught so many dozens of fish today. I mean, Scott, unreal, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's been, I'm kind of wore out, to be honest. <laughs> Exhausted from catching so many. This last spot here, we, we're looking on Mega Live and we got schools of walleyes. We're catching all sorts of eater-sized walleyes, so 
We're gonna add a big old smallmouth here. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a hook oh. pop. Hunt, hook did pop out. Oh, that's a big one there. Oh, oh nice, nice. Awesome fish. Awesome fish to close it out. What an awesome day of fishing. Just oh. No better way to close it out, a Rainy Lake Bruiser and some walleyes for dinner. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's segment on shallow crank and catching bass, some bonus walleyes, and we've shown you a little bit about the bounty of Rainy Lake. It's rainylake.org. Come up to the Voyagers National Park and explore this spectacular fishery. With my good friend Scott Walsh, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.